Hi there, welcome back to my channel, Psychic Medium Jen Hall here. Today we are doing um, a four card spread. So yes, I know it looks like three cards, but these are three separate piles. So I want you right now to choose a pile, pile one, pile two, or pile three, that resonates with you. Something that kind of just jumps out, makes you feel like as if there's perhaps a beautiful message hidden in there from your spirit guides, your angels, your inner being. So each um, each little pile here has four separate cards. So we're going to do these little four card spreads. I'm going to put the time markers. So if you choose pile two or pile three, um, if you choose those piles, I'll put the time markers for them um, in the description box down below so that you can jump right to the messages specifically for you. So I hope you enjoy it. Pick a pile. Let's get to it. Welcome to Spirit Speaks with Psychic Medium Jennifer Hall. Okay, so these are the decks that I'm using for today's readings. Um, again, it's going to be a four card spread. So each pile has a card from each one of these decks. We've got three Doreen Virtue decks here, um, messages from your angels, the Oracle Butterfly cards, which are my favorites, um, Archangel Raphael healing cards. These are really awesome if you're looking for some guidance around how to um, heal yourself, heal yourself physically, maybe mentally, emotionally, um, healing on your soul's journey, or possibly even helping other people or person that you're asking about. Um, and then these cards here are really awesome. They're by James Van Prague. I love them. They're the soul's journey cards. Each card actually has a lesson associated with it. So today we're going to get a, a card from each one of these decks um, and I will reveal the messages right here, right now. Okay, guys, this is pile number one. Welcome to your messages. So as you saw, I'm using four different decks. I'm starting out these deck, um, these cards on top here, the most beautiful. These are the soul lesson cards um, by James Van Prague. They're some of my favorites. Um, so those are the ones on top. We also have the butterfly changes cards. We've got messages from your angels and we have an Archangel Raphael message in here as well. So let's see group one, what the message is for you. I'm just gonna move this out of the way here. All right. So we have sobriety. So this is a message from Archangel Raphael. Um, I'll show you all the cards first and then I'll go through and tell you what um, I feel that they might mean for you today. So sobriety, we've got have patience. We have you are stronger than you know. And a discipline card. So, I mean, right off the bat, I'm getting a couple of different messages here from your spirit team. But I would say, based off of these cards, that maybe things have been a bit tough. This card here, you are stronger than you know. It usually symbolizes a time of um, difficulty and that spirit's wanting you to understand that it's in these times of difficulty where we tend to grow the most and that we find our inner strength. So this card usually represents a message that you're okay, you're on your right path, no matter how hard things have been, you are strong and you can get through this. Um, this could relate to so many different things, obviously. These messages um, will be up to you to interpret. It could literally mean something very, um, I don't know, like obvious as well. Like it could be talking about you being strong physically, um, maybe upping the ante a little bit in an exercise routine or something like that. But for the message, um, that I am getting, I feel like as if this is kind of a little bit more around things that you've gone through recently. So spirit wanting you to know that you're stronger than you know, have faith, trust. Um, and then let me just sort of see what these ones kind of say together. So we have the discipline card as a soul lesson that you're learning right now. Discipline really, um, obviously the little message here, I can accomplish, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Um, for me, this really represents um, not so much discipline like we might understand it, you know, when we talk about little kids, that kind of thing. I feel like that it's about um, really deciding what you're looking for, what you're wanting, and then sticking to it and trusting. 
So discipline obviously can be about um, accomplishing things. It can be about setting your mind to something and doing the work, putting in the work and being disciplined with that work. But the message that I feel from spirit, and this is something that I often hear from spirit, is that it's not always about the work, you know? As humans, we feel like that we need to do so much and we're constantly doing. Sometimes discipline really just means just being. Disciplined in your beingness, in your processes of raising your vibration. Be disciplined with what makes you feel good. And instead of, you know, looking to, and again, I know that this card is talking about, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So it's, you know, talking about maybe trust and, um, working hard towards a goal. And that could be what resonates with you, but it could also be such a gentle message about really just kind of surrendering the discipline of surrender. And maybe it's about a meditation practice or setting aside the time for yourself to, Find that place where you really feel that you're stronger than you know, and you can kind of overcome anything that's happening in your life. So discipline, again, it can mean a couple of different things, but I think the message here is just about um, staying focused on what you're hoping for, what you're wanting, and disciplined in your actions when it comes to taking care of yourself. That's what I feel in this message. There's also a message of, I'm going to get to this one last, the sobriety, but there's also a message of patience here. So this one is... Um, now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge. <laughs> I tripped over that word. Synthesize your knowledge into action. So now is the time. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not focusing very well. But now is the time to, yes, gather information. But I believe, again, that this this information is coming from within. So I really feel like that the patience message here is about just being gentle with yourself. Be patient. Let things work themselves out without trying so hard to get in the way. And, you know, you are strong. You can get through this. Um, be disciplined with the care for yourself. And then as far as, you know, being patient goes, patience really comes with a lot of trust. We can only really be patient when we trust that everything will work out, everything's okay, maybe handing things over to God or to your spirit angels, um, and just letting, letting things be for a little bit. Um, gather the information, maybe through meditation, like I said, enjoy being the student. Um, and as far as this um, kind of future sort of little message here later will be the time to act right now is just the time to rest and get yourself kind of back together so this card here kind of plays into this a little bit sobriety this could mean obviously very much um, a sober message so letting go of addictive behaviors drugs alcohol that kind of thing it could be representing someone else in your life especially if that revolves around the message with um, what these cards are signifying, you know, um, kind of getting through a difficult situation, that kind of thing. It could be about somebody else in your life that does have addictive behaviors. It could be yourself. Sobriety also really represents um, helpful decisions, I guess. So, so this actually, there's a little prayer on here. It says, Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for adjusting my cravings in healthful directions so that I only desire life-affirming foods and beverages. So this doesn't always revolve around, you know, drugs or alcohol. It could also be, as I mentioned, maybe around food or numbing yourself with behaviors or um, addictive patterns that really no longer serve you anymore. Sometimes when we're impatient or we're waiting for things to come around, or sometimes when we're going through tough times, we resort to these old patterns, these patternings in life that, you know, sometimes have become kind of addictive. And so spirit's really just telling you to, again, you know, bring in the discipline um, of letting go, of surrendering, of um, bringing in that gentle energy and um and being kind to yourself you know being kind to your body um and really trusting that spirits got your back um i just want to mention too that sometimes so the sobriety card can sometimes also i'm just getting this now it can sometimes represent um just a sensitivity so it <laughs> It doesn't always mean, um, again, that you have bad patterns or anything like that. It could mean that because you're doing things to raise your vibration or to really focus on your health and, and your um, energetic health, it could, it could be about, um, you know, you're becoming a little bit more sensitive to foods or chemicals or 
um, really kind of just needing to wake up a little bit. Sobriety could just be about opening your eyes and, and waking up around, um, you know, spiritual awakening and, and things like that. So um, I hope that resonates with you guys. A nice little message there from spirit. You know, obviously you're stronger than you know. Um, your inner strength maybe was challenged, maybe has been challenged or is being challenged right now. But really your lesson here is to learn how to take care of yourself, be disciplined with accomplishing, um, you know, what you're set your mind to, of course, but in a really gentle way. So thank you, group one. Let me know in the comments below if that resonated with you. Welcome group two. Thank you for, um, joining me in this video for a four card spread. This is the second pile. So the middle pile group number two, I'm just going to move this out of the way here. And I want to go over, as you guys know, there's four cards in this spread. So there are the, um, soul's journeys card. These are the beautiful cards that I'm using on top, the journey cards. We've got a message from Archangel Raphael. We also have a message from your angels and we have the butterfly changes deck in here as well. So I'm just going to flip these over and we're going to go over them, um, kind of in like an overview and then I'm going to go through and let you know what the cards mean so the first card here this is the angel um no sorry the butterfly changes deck welcome the new love that card okay so welcome the new I'm just going to go over these briefly first this is crystal the angel sending you a message of um having faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see so very exciting. And maybe you've already seen it with the welcome the new card, but maybe you haven't. So there's good things coming. Exercise is key. The little um, message here from Archangel Raphael or a, sorry, it's a prayer actually towards, you guys, I'm sorry, the focus is off a little bit. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating me and guiding me to an exercise program that fits my schedule, interests, and budget. So moving your body. That is key. So we'll talk about all of this and what I feel the message really is kind of behind everything. Um, and then your lesson card that you've got is the abundance card. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. <clears throat> I feel a couple different things coming through with this, um, with this spread. So where are we going to start? Let's actually start with the first one that we had here, welcoming the new. So this welcoming the new card, obviously pretty self-explanatory. Let's bring in new energy. Let's welcome the new energy that's coming in your life. Sometimes beginnings are a result of an ending. Sometimes it's the end of an era. Sometimes it's a choice that we've made to move into a new direction. Sometimes the carpet has been pulled out from right from underneath us and we're kind of forced into this, you know, new beginning. Either way, spirit is encouraging you to welcome the new. So welcome the new processes, welcome the new um, maybe the new job, the new relationship, welcome the new situation, welcome the new journey, because this truly is a path guided by spirit. So welcoming it is going to be important. Um, really just validating that if you are on a new path, if you've been thrown into a new path, maybe you're feeling kind of the itch to move on to a different path. Maybe things need to be shaken up a little bit in your life. So spirit is um, encouraging you to welcome the new, start something fresh, new projects, um, projects, sorry, new beginnings coming for you or have already showed up. So again, this will be up to you to interpret, but uh, welcoming the new is a really beautiful card to see because it tells me that there's some nice changes happening in your life and that um, it's important to welcome them and to kind of ride the wave with them if they're not necessarily uh, ones that you chose. So this is kind of a very similar message here with um, the angel crystal. Um, having faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon. So Again, if you are um, watching this and you're part of group two and you haven't really hit that new beginning yet, but maybe you're itching for one or you know that it's coming, just have faith, have hope, because it is certainly going to bring something beautiful to your life, a new direction, even if it's just fresh energy. We need to switch things up um, energetically in our lives. And um, when we stay stagnant for too long, it often affects us in pretty negative ways. So the new beginning that's coming or that's already here, just trust and have faith that it is put there for a reason um, and that there's beautiful things yet to come. So really nice cards um, for you group two today. Um, I love this card. Exercise is key. Let's talk about that last maybe, but um, this abundance card, 
a couple different things that I feel coming through with this. Again, with this new journey, this new beginning, um, when we refer to abundance in that situation, I really feel like as if a couple different things. I think that there's probably going to be a new situation or a new <clears throat> journey for you, a new path that really creates this abundance um, in your life, abundant feeling of, you know, overabundance of love or appreciation for what's happening around you, maybe an abundance of, um, you know, new experiences, maybe abundance of finances. Um, I also feel like sometimes the welcoming the new could be about starting something new with career or um, business. And so if that's the case, maybe it is purely financial. This abundance card could mean that there's beautiful financial gifts coming your way. Um, and the other message with this is just not to get caught up with um, too much of like a, um, I guess, like a worry kind of mind around abundance or finances. Or if you are feeling again, that stagnant energy and you haven't yet moved on to this new path. And, you know, Crystal is telling you that it's a beautiful path to move towards, have faith, have hope. If you're just getting this as validation and you haven't already moved on that path, this card could really be a reminder to focus on the positive. Make sure that you're focusing on the fact that you can manifest whatever you desire. You can bring in that new relationship or that new career or the new um, business that you're wanting to take hold or maybe a new house or a new property or whatnot. Um, the abundance card here though, like I said, it could be about, um, you know, that there's symbols of abundance coming in with that new direction, which I think it is definitely saying that but that there's also along the way a reminder to stay positive and um, be sure to use either an affirmation like this, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Um, so affirmations or just positive thinking, being focused on the feeling that abundance brings you rather than the feeling of lack of not having it, if that's something that you experience. So um, a little bit of a reminder, a message there. And then this card here, exercise is key. I like this card because of course um, it could be, um, I mean, it's very literal, like exercise is key. Even just the little prayer is about um, feeling motivated towards an exercise program that works for you. But if you're watching this, if you're part of group two, it's probable that you've been wanting to switch up your exercise routine. Maybe you've been wanting to start again and maybe you need to move your body. And I think that when it comes to something new, when we're feeling stagnant, movement is key for real. If you can't move something in your life, if there's too many things going on that you want to change that you don't have um, really all the control over that you can't change, maybe you're waiting for someone to get back to you about a new career shift, or maybe you're waiting for that special someone to show up in your life to start that new path. Um, and you know, and you trust that it's going to be okay. Um, but you're just kind of waiting. And when you're waiting, um, for abundance to show up or your desires to show up in your life, it's really important to get the energy moving instead of keeping it stagnant, because the more stagnant that we are, the more we focus on the not having the desires that we're striving for. So um, exercise is key. Now, this doesn't mean you need to go get a gym pass or you need to um, start lifting a ton of weights. That might be helpful for you. So if that feels right, do it. But this could be about like walking, just moving your body, getting some fresh air or walking on the treadmill or doing some stretches or some gentle yoga or of course, maybe some more intense exercise if that's what your body needs. Maybe your body's itching to sweat. But basically, when we move our body, we're shifting all the energy and the energy centers then can realign. And oftentimes, you know, there's physical benefits, obviously, of exercise, including endorphins and things that make us feel good emotionally and mentally, which means that we can probably better focus on our desires um, especially the things that we want in a really positive way. So group two, this was your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below what made sense, if it made sense, if you feel inspired by this, knowing that you're supported on your new journey, whether it's happened yet or not, <clears throat> take that next step, welcome the new and have faith and hope that there, you know, brings beautiful things for you. Thanks group two.
Welcome group three. This is your four card spread. Um, I've got, as I've said with the other um, card spreads as well, I've got four cards here for you today. We've got this beautiful one on top here is um, James Van Prague Soul's Journey lesson cards. We've got a message from Archangel Raphael, one from your angels, and then an Oracle um, Butterfly Changes card deck. So, uh, or card from that deck. <laughs> so welcome to your spread. I'm just going to move this out of the way so you guys can see properly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the cards. I'm going to show you what they are, and then I will go through them individually um, and we'll see what the collective message is. Um, but let's just flip them around here. So we've got, this is the Butterfly Changes deck. It's changing your mind. So you might be, um, I'll go through and read them after, but you might be changing your mind right now. You might feel the need that you're um, needing to move on into a different path, maybe kind of flip-flopping between a couple different decisions. We'll talk about all of that in just a moment. Um, this is a message from the angel Adriana. And it says, I know that's my focus is a little bit off here, but it says, I am leading you toward the answer, your, uh, sorry, toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams beautiful kind of goes specifically with changing your mind maybe okay so listen to your intuitive feelings Ooh, another beautiful card this one's from Archangel Raphael this message um, and you can um, use this prayer if you feel guided dear higher self thank you for speaking loudly and clearly in peaceful ways that I easily understand Archangel Raphael thank you for guiding me to listen to my inner wisdom so this is obviously all about opening up listening to yourself trusting yourself and then we have the patience card coming in. This is the soul's journey lesson card. So your lesson right now with, um, with what's happening in your life might be centered around patience. And again, these messages are pretty broad, pretty vague. So you're going to have to decide for yourself how they really um, fit into your life. But this patience card, the affirmation that goes along with it is, I accept that everything happens in divine order. So I love these cards because as I'm kind of reading them, I'm just going to pick them up here. They... Um, they kind of all complement each other. There's clear a clear theme here happening. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I feel the message is from Spirit, the overall message. Um, sorry, my exposure is not that great, but I think you guys get the cards here. You don't need to see all the writing, I suppose. Okay, so we've got, let's start with changing your mind. So this is the changes card. This is the change that maybe is happening in your life right now. Um, the changing your mind card can mean, again, many different things as each card in any card deck can mean so many different things depending on how you interpret it and depending on what's going on in your life so changing your mind this could literally be literal it could be that you are standing at a crossroads um or you know or you're you've made a decision and now you're changing your mind or you've been on this path for a long time and now you're deciding or feeling the urge or the pull to change your mind or maybe just to go into a dip to change your mind or go into a different direction. Um, usually when I see this card, it sig signifies the crossroads. So really standing in a place where we're reevaluating what is happening, what's going on in your life right now that maybe you feel you need to switch up. Maybe it's a career, maybe it's a business, maybe it's reinventing something or adding something new to your career or your business. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's friends in your life, the people in your life. Maybe it's your relationship with spirit. And, you know, you've been on this path, basically any path, whatever path that you've been on, and it's just time to change. So changing your mind can, again, like I said, it could be about changing your mind, but it could be about reevaluating where you're at right now in your life. So we'll circle back to this just um, once I go through the other cards here. I liked this card a lot, this message from Adriana, because um, it really talks about kind of going off of this card of, of maybe changing your mind. It's talking about um, knowing which way to go based off of listening and communicating with your intuition, your thoughts, your dreams, your desires. Um, and then again, with this message from Archangel Raphael about listening to your intuitive feelings, I feel like that there um, is a lot of energy circling around you right now, group three, um, that are, you know, they're intuitive energies, they're intuitive um, inklings or little inspirations that you're getting from your higher self or your guides around you 
Um, and that's probably why you felt guided to change your mind around something or to change course in your life right now. Um, so if that's the case, if you are at a crossroads, if you're looking kind of, you know, not sure which way to go, trust your intuition around that. When we're at the crossroads, a lot of the time, the reason why we don't just change our mind and move forward onto a different path is usually because we're worried about making the wrong decision or upsetting somebody else. There's a message coming through right now from spirit just to let you know that it's important um, and encourage that you make a decision for yourself. It's time to make a decision based off of how you feel and what you want. Of course, obviously, we need to make sure that you know our decisions are safe for other people and, and whatnot. But um, it is time if you maybe have been somebody that has always made decisions um, based off of what everybody else needs from you. Maybe you're in a place right now in your life by default because of all these, you know, the patterning around these decisions. Um, in the past. So now is the time to make a decision for yourself. And you might be standing at the crossroads right now, sort of pulled in two different directions or more than two. But usually like I'm kind of feeling even right now that you might be sort of, do I go this way or do I go that way? And trying to figure out which is the right decision and your, your guides, your angels, your inner being, these messages from the cards here, messages from the cards are really guiding you to a place of inner trust. So um, one thing that spirit usually recommends when you're trying to decide between two different, you know, options or two different directions is to kind of give some attention to both different directions in a, um, like at a different time. So spend some meditation in, you know, one direction. What if I go this way? What happens then? Um, and then see how it feels and your intuition will always guide you to the better feeling decision. So if you're meditating on something and you're like, okay, well, it feels pretty good, but I can feel a little bit of pressure with that decision, or I can feel that it might be a bit stressful or it might be too busy. I don't know if I can handle that right now versus, you know, the other option feels a little less hard or it feels a little easier or a little bit more relaxed. Um, maybe that's the intuition or maybe that's your intuition talking to you and, and guiding you towards that decision. But um, this whole little message here, changing your mind, if you're standing at that crossroads, know that these angels, your guides, your inner being, they're guiding you right now towards that intuitive feeling. So pay attention to your intuition, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the little inklings, the signs that are happening around you, um, because that might be very important for you moving forward. Oh, there we go. My exposure just sort of changed a little bit. Okay. So then this last card, the soul lesson card, um, right now is patience. So I accept that everything happens in divine order. So this card kind of overlapping or sort of overarching lesson within all of this. So if you're at that crossroads, if you're needing to make a decision, if you've already changed your mind, you're already making a decision, trusting the path moving forward, using your intuition to move forward in a really beautiful, calm, peaceful way and have patience along the way. This patience card, yes, it's about patience and, you know, being patient while things line up, while the universe lines up, but it's also about trust and obviously acceptance. So trusting and accepting that everything happens in divine order. So um, you wouldn't be in this situation if it wasn't your inner being's calling to share shake things up a little bit to have you maybe questioning or changing your mind in a certain situation. So um, having patience, yes, patience with how things unfold, not necessarily um, needing to control the situation entirely, not necessarily needing to know exactly how it ends up or, you know, how it turns out, but um, having patience with how it unfolds, how this new um, path or journey um, or new direction actually takes place is not really up to you. Um, you might intuitively follow those feelings to change course or change direction, change your mind, um, move in that new you know direction. But um, the way that it unfolds, really, it's encouraging you here to have patience around um, what that looks like and just trusting that everything happens in divine timing and um, in the order that the divine decides. <laughs> so um, I hope that makes sense for you guys. Group three, let me know in the comments below if it resonated and what parts maybe did. Um, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.